Welcome, welcome. We are all busy. I hear it all the time, and there are so many days when I am running around and all I've got on is my jeans and my t-shirt. What I need is a really lightweight, simple jacket because I've got to run to a meeting and I just do not have time to change. So I'm just going to throw this on over and we're going to see just how easy it is to go from jeans and t-shirt to just looking a whole lot better. It's amazing what that jacket will do. I remember so many times I had women say to me, gosh, that jacket just really, really helps. And I'll never forget from the very first time I actually saw this jacket on, I remember thinking, I just love that. It was a customer who had it on who came into my booth and it was casual, it was simple, but it was just great and it could go so many different levels. So I'm using pattern number 1850, it's called Quilted Jacket. I do believe it has to come in at the waist. It's a princess seam, so you have lots of opportunity. I did it with elastic on this one, but you don't have to. And then I also use lace panels, and I'm going to show you a little bit about what I did. So I used two yards. Uh, there's only four pieces. You've got your front, your back, your side front, and your side back. It's a kimono sleeve, so if you don't like setting in sleeves, this jacket's going to work great for you. Um, and then I used two yards of fabric number 1754, and then I used, we have this four-inch lace on the black lace and I combine it together. The reason I picked the fabric is because I wanted it to go with jeans. I wanted it to just, just scale up jeans just a little bit. Nothing big deal, but just to scale up jeans just a little bit. So I love the navy. This is a cotton batik. It's really a fun fabric. It's just really nice. Both sides are the same. So if you wanted to, you could certainly do some kind of tie in the front where both sides showed because that would be easy enough to do. All right, so let's talk first the fabric. Again, fabric's reversible, gray fabric. Um, pattern, 1850. I took off 14 inches off the length of the sleeve. I really wanted something that was, didn't show, uh, you know, didn't cover a lot of arm. I just wanted a little cap sleeve almost, so I took 14 inches off. If you're not sure, and you're not gonna be when you're first doing this, I had seen a jacket very similar to this, so I was kind of going from that. Just cut off a little bit and then cut off more and more and more until you get finally to where it is. The way I finished the sleeve, because it is two-sided, two I just rolled it up. And so that's all the finishes of the sleeve is it's just rolled up a couple times. And you can't tell that it's the front of the fabric or the back of the fabric, and that's kind of fun. And I was in Tommy Bahama a little while ago, and they are using a lot of batik for summer fabrics that are the same both sides. So that's really where I started thinking about this fabric, and I just really, really like it. All right, so I shortened the sleeve. That's all I did. I, le I left the jacket length the same. Again, remember, if you don't want it this length, you can shorten it after the fact, but you're better off to go longer and then work it up. All right, so then I want to show you a little bit on those two pieces and these are just on overlaying lace because you can see that what I did on the front facing is typically the jacket has two front facings. And then, you know, I mean, four fronts. So two fronts and then two front facings that go in. I only wanted to use the lace, and the lace is scalloped on the edge, and I really like that. And so I wanted to lay it down, and I did. I laid it down right on the edge of the piece. So you can see in this case, the lace is not as white as the piece. So I left that, and I just cut the piece, cut the lace, put the lace on top, and Ellie Tahari has done this a lot, and I've seen him do this with lace. And that is, when I lay this down, you can see that the lace is straight and the piece is crooked or, or curved. So the way you make the lace curved is you take a little dart in the lace. And if you do it right in the middle, see that this is kind of printed and then plain and printed. If you do it right in the middle of the printed and you, you can actually stitch it down, you just don't even see it. So on mine, I did it right in through here. And again, you just don't really see it, but what it does is it takes and changes the angle of the lace so that you can use this pretty straight scallop on a piece that's not straight. I did it across the back too. I did it all the way across the back as well. So I took the lace up the front just around the back and then back down the other front. So it's really, again, easy to take a straight piece of lake and lace and make it work for a piece that's just not exactly straight. So that's what I'm gonna suggest on this. And then because 
there's so much lace out there right now for summer I went ahead and did it horizontally I cut the fabric out behind it and then I put in a little bit of elastic again because I wanted it to be um, fitted you could weave a little drawstring through it and just make this whole thing a drawstring I decided I wanted it fixed and so I used the elastic and then I put the little uh, drawstring on the front or not drawstring I just put the little tie on the front if you're not a tie person you could leave it open you could leave it open the closure of it I think gives it a little more cat uh, dressy look I think the opening of it, it leaves it a little bit more casual but the good news is it's your jacket and you get to make all those fun decisions all right so a little bit of batik and a little bit of lace makes a great summer jacket just to dress it up a little bit or maybe to keep you warmer in those freezing restaurants happy sewing from silhouette patterns